Hi there, welcome to another episode of Tech Sundays and in this episode we are going to talk about how to calculate previous year's same week totals. That means, suppose you need to calculate the sales amount of the previous year same week. Then how you can achieve it? We already have a text function called sample period last year. But in order to calculate the previous year same week, we don't have any text function. And because of that, I'm creating this video. I know working on DAX is a challenging part. It's not everybody's cup of tea. But you are watching this video, that means you want to achieve something in DAX and you want to be a DAX expert. So what are you waiting for? Let's get started. Now let's first talk about the logic over here. In this video, we are going to use a very important DAX function that is the lookup value DAX function which is going to return the value of the row that meets all criteria specified by one or more search conditions. You can see the syntax over here where we have to first write your DAX function name which is lookup value, then we have the result column name, then we have a search column name, then the search value. Over here, you should note that result column name is the name of an existing column that contains the value you want to return. It cannot be an expression. On the other hand, search column name is also the name of an existing column. It can be in the same table as result column name or in a related table, but it also cannot be an expression. Search value over here is the value to search in search column name. So that's what you are going to find it out over here. And then also we have some alternate result if you would like to appear if your values are not matching. Over here it's going to return the value of a result column at the row where all pairs of search column and search value have an exact match. If there is no match, it's going to return you a blank value. Or you can also return an alternate result as we just mentioned which is an optional parameter over here. Now let's move to the second part where I have explained the steps what you need to do in order to achieve previous year's same week calculations. For that first you should have uh, your date table and in the date table if you don't have calendar year or week number you need to create that. In the second step we are going to create a summarized table where we would have columns like year, week number and week totals. Then in the third step, we are going to create three measures inside the same table or you can also create a separate table for measures if you would like to create it. In this step, what we are going to do, we are going to create three different measures that is the week total sales amount, previous week and previous year week. Now let's move on to this demo part where we are going to see how these measures have been created and how I have created the summarized table. Now you can see this is the table where I have already all the measures in place but you should know that how I am calculating these measures because without that logic you cannot achieve it. So let's go over here and here you can see I have this table. In this table I am using this summarize function because this is going to help me to calculate a summarize table. Summarize function is summarized x function is always going to return you a table which we have over here. Here I am using first date table and from the date table I have this calendar year. Then I have the week number of the year, which are the two columns that are already present in my date table. If you will look at my right hand side main, there is a date table. In this date table, I have this week number of the year. And also I have the another column that is my calendar year. That's why I'm using them as it is. But the third column, which is going to be week total, is going to be the total sales amount. But remember that guys, we have to use here all except. That means we are going to drop all the filters from this table except we are going to keep only the filters which are being mentioned over here that means only the filters that we are going to apply on these three columns over here those are only going to be applicable otherwise we are dropping all other filters using all except and if you don't know this text function i have already created a detailed video on this please check the link in the description section where you can find our text and this tutorial series please go and watch it if you haven't watched it yet so please go over there and you will get all the details over there so this is pretty simple table that I have created using the summarized text function over here. Now moving to the next point, we have to create three different measures over here. So let's start first with the week total sales amount. So over here what I have done, I have again calculated the total sales amount over here. And it's basically the same that we have calculated the week totals. You can see that I'm using this sum text function to calculate total sales amount. And then I'm keeping the filter on these columns from the date table while I'm removing or dropping all other filters. So that's what I'm doing. Calculate is a filter modifier. So it's a filter function ideally, but it's a filter modifier. Now, secondly, I have created another text function, which is previous week. And over here, you would find that I'm using lookup value text function. So 
as i mentioned this lookup value dex function it needs certain parameters that means your result column name which is going to be our week total then it's going to need another column which is going to be search column which is our calendar year and then it's going to compare the value that means your search value and over here we want to search a value of the previous year but how we are going to get that for that we have this if condition where we are saying if the maximum week number of the year equals to one then calendar year should go to one year back that means if it's the starting week of the year then we should calculate the calendar year as the previous year otherwise we can count this year as a calendar year similarly for the week number because we know that in a year we have 53 weeks so that's what i'm comparing over here if my week number is one that means it is the first week of this year then i should consider only the previous week that would be the last week of the previous year which is 53 otherwise i can use just you know maximum number of week minus one that means if i have two then i can consider two minus one equals to one now there is one more which is previous year week over here i am applying the same logic where i am getting week total that means my total sales amount for one particular week and how i'm uh, how i'm checking that for that i am first checking my calendar year and then my search value would be the previous year and similarly for the week also i'm going to match this value that means over here i'm matching two values one your calendar year secondly week number of the year when those two are going to get match then we are going to return the week total column over here so once we have this previous year week once we have the previous week and also the week total sales amount what we can do we can just create this simple table that you can see over here in this table you can see first i have my calendar year which is 2011 12 and so on then we have week number of the year as you can see it's being started from third then we have third fourth fifth and sixth then we have week total sales amount for this week how much is my total sales amount then previous week since we don't have data before third of the week of 2011 that's why previous week is blank over here otherwise you can see that third week data is appearing in the next line or next row over here which is my previous week and then in the next row you can see that 82,000 something is appearing in the next row that means this is the data of the fourth week which is appearing in the fifth because it's a previous week data and in the last column you will see previous year week here you won't see any value because it's 2011 we can only see these values of 2011 in 2012 because we have to go one year back over here so let me scroll it down and once i scroll it down and i go to 2012 here you can see that first two rows are going to be blank because in 2011 we do not have data for first and second week it started from the third and third week data you can see that 79902 is going to be the same as over here for the third week so that's how you can compare whether your values are appearing correct or not and similarly if i see the fourth week of data which is 82,782.0064 that's the same you would come over here and you can check it out in 2012 for the fourth week so let me go a bit up and here i can see this is my previous year week data which is 82,782.0064 that means everything is working fine where i have brought calendar year week number of the year week total sales amount previous year and previous year week however guys please remember that once you are start fetching out the different fields or dragging and dropping into the table do not drop this calendar year and the week number of the year fields from your newly created table otherwise you won't get the right result that means suppose i am getting this calendar year Now you would realize that amount is coming same and you are not getting any previous value as well. So no matter where I go, so you won't get it. Reason being you are just doing from the same table. No, you should not do it from here. Instead of that, you just need to remove them. You should take the fields from your date table. That means your calendar year and then your week number of the year. And here, now you would see the values are appearing correctly. As you can see that previous week value is coming. This is my week total sales amount and in the previous column you can see it's appearing correctly which is my previous week value so i hope that makes sense to you if you still have any questions or you don't understand anything you can write your comment in the comment section and i'm definitely going to reply you as soon as possible